F and Dash Yamaha Marine in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Northeast largest express dealer and one of the largest express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy. I'm the express guy here at FNS. If you contact us, more than likely you'll be speaking with me. We just got in our first two 2023 H17 bass boats. This particular one is silver hull and silver spray and liner with the red appearance package. Like all the H series boats in either the 17 like this one or the 18s, they come standard with Express's aluminum custom made trailer which fit the boat spot on. Aluminum rims, sea deck is standard. Upgrades like the spare tire and mount is an upgrade, which we order with all of our Expresses. Most of our Expresses we also order with the lighted logo trailer step. With the appearance package, and this particular package is in red, you get red line C deck, red stripes in the seats, and also stripes in the hull. There are six different colors of appearance package, and I'd be glad to help you with the different styles and colors, and with all the options as well. I make up an info sheet for every Express series of boat to try to help customers better understand what all the possibilities are. The max horsepower for the H17 is a 90 horsepower. Pretty well ever express that's sold, especially with us, is sold with a Yamaha VMAX SHO. That's Yamaha's higher performance motors, which work really well with the high performance boats. Forgive me for not having a prop on this one. The prop is back ordered, um, but I just didn't uh, get a chance to put another one on yet. It's just, it's just arrived. Express is, has quite a reputation for rod and handling, and with the H series boats, with they also get their pad hull which is what they're known for. And what that means is that the very back bottom of the boat, there is a pad, which is right here. That pad is about 15 inches wide and about two feet long. So when the boat's running wide open with the motor trimmed up, the only thing that's in the water is the pad. That makes the boat go faster. It also makes it ride better because there's very little of the boat in the water. Along with the rest of the, rest of the design of the hull, you see the steps on the hull and the aggressive reverse chines. These boats turn on a dime and ride and handle and compare to many fiberglass boats in the industry. It's hard to understand and comprehend how well these ride for an aluminum boat until you go out in one. Along with the pad hull boat, the pad hulls work much better if you have a jack plate. When you move the motor up and away from that pad hull, it just makes the boat accelerate faster, turn better. The whole scenario works a little bit better with the jack plate. Uh, this boat has a manual jack plate, um, but with special orders uh, or upgrades, we'd be glad to do hydraulic jack plates as well. Hydraulic based our steering upgrade. You order on most of the H series boats. See the switch panel here. Also, other upgrades that we got with this particular one is the recirc live well. So the live well uh, is a recirc, which you fill the live well and then you can actually uh, recirculate the water as you're driving down the road. And then it's also a pump out too. Another upgrade is light kit. So all of the uh, compartments in the boat have lights in them, the live well as well, and there's a light on the side of the compartment. Again, shoot me a line, I'd be glad to explain all the different uh, options. This particular boat was ordered with a Garmin fish finder. We can get either Garmin fish finder and trolling motors or Humminbird fish finders and Minn Kota trolling motors. 
uh, from Express, but we also stock Garmin's, Minn Kota's, and Humminbird's here at FNS. And I save, everything's hard to get, but especially Humminbird and Minn Kota. But we save as many units as possible, and I stock them that they're only available if you buy an Express, and we'd be glad to upgrade. Multiple graphs, upgrade trolling motor, whatever you'd like to do, and we'd be glad to help. And we do a lot of that here at FNS. Like all the Expresses, the spray and liner is standard. You can see that here. It's sprayed on top of every deck, everywhere, underneath every hatch, underneath every lid. Little stuff like that, again, makes them ride and handle really well. Here's an example of how the hulls are configured with an Express. And basically this is the bottom of the boat. You have the cross members, many cross members throughout, and then the floor and then foam is sprayed in between. That makes these boats ride very quiet and have a very solid ride. Comes with one standard, comes with one butt seat, which of course you usually put that in the front deck, and one fold down seat. This boat has a Minn Kota 55 edge, 12 volt. But again, I have all Trexes in stock and Garmin force trolling motors in stock and I would be glad to upgrade. We, the other color H17 that we just got, I'm gonna walk right up the row here as we walk by other Expresses. again with a 90 horsepower VMAX SHO but this one is charcoal color with the lime appearance package Humminbird Helix 7 in the dash but we have Helix 9s and Helix 12s in stock at the, this particular moment you can see the lime on the side A very common question we get is, what is the difference between, out of the course, the obvious, the H17 and the H18? This is an H17 in front of me, um, and behind me is an H18. So the difference between these two boats, as far as length, is right here on the front deck, there's 10 inches. The H18 is 10 inches longer than what the 17 is. And then when you go to the H18, you can also upgrade to the 115 horsepower max. Back to the H17. The H17 with a 90 horsepower SHO runs about 45 mile an hour. And like every Express that we sell here at FNS, we go through them very thoroughly to PDI them and check boo-boos by the factory, which that's just part of today's boat world to make sure your boat is as trouble-free as possible before you receive it. And then also too, we do the first initial break-in with every boat here at FNS, and then we go to the water with each boat before you receive it to make sure that everything is okay. Like for instance, the live well fittings, propping, jack plate height, that type of thing can only be tested in the water and we make sure that we do that before you receive your express so again so it's as trouble free as possible and then also every customer usually most of them uh, will go with you to the water to make sure you understand how to use your express we'll go over everything here very thoroughly at the shop and then we go to the water after that to show you how to everything operates this is a lime appearance package H17, of course, the sea deck, like I said, is standard. You see the front compartments. Rod storage, which runs all the way to the front of the boat. Here in the middle. That's a cooler at the bottom of this storage. It comes with H, every H-series boat. You can see the light there, which has, this has a light package. 
so it's lit up all the compartments. We welcome special orders here at FNS, and I'd be glad to help you uh, explain all the different uh, options and whatnot. But then we also normally always have a lot of boats already on order at FNS, and some in stock as well. But the nice thing with the boats already on order, uh, that shortens the lead time to get your boat. Uh, because a lot of times Express will let us make changes to it. Uh, as long as it's not within about 60 days of being produced, Express will let us make changes and I can m change it into whatever you have in mind. As we look down the line here, this is, uh, I'm standing on a 17. That's an H18 beside us. Another H18 and an H17 at the end of the line. Lots of little touches with Express, just even down to the motor mounting plate. Two bank charger is standard on the H17s and H18s. We normally upgrade from the factory to the three bank. Uh, that way you're good to go for down the road with, uh, if you, in case you decide to go to a 24 volt system. And the dash. Yeah, water pressure gauge and fuel gauge, trim gauge and tachometer. Again, of course, we talked about the hydraulic steering. Makes the boat steer much easier. It's not an absolute must in a 17, but it is a nice touch. It is pretty well must with a 115 or larger when you get to the 18 footers. Different colors as we look down the road here. We're standing on a boat that has the charcoal spray liner and charcoal hull with lime appearance. Next to us is a silver hull with lime appearance. Also several other colors available. Orange, red, Bahama blue, standard blue, if you look at our other YouTube videos uh, and our Facebook page, you'll see lots of options of colors that we've, that uh, that you can get. Or shoot me a line too; I'd be glad to to email you what uh, what's available and pictures of scenarios. Uh, this particular H18 has is Garmin out with a Garmin Force up up front and a nine-inch Garmin Fish Finder at the console. We upgraded right from the factory with this particular boat or we can do upgrades here as well. Either way, we'd be glad to install a separate graph up front, multiple graphs, stack them, whatever you'd like to do. We're very open and in the know of uh, setting up your boat for either Garmin or Minn Kota Humminbird. to the custom aluminum trailer side guys are standard storage in the rear which the rear deck between the 17 and 18 is the same it's just the front deck like I said is 10 inches difference between the two Sorry, me fumbling there. I got not enough hands to do that. <laughs> um, live well. Most of them we get upgraded with a recirc and pump out. Another upgrade, depending on the boat, is sea deck in the cockpit. But you can see that with this particular boat. That's an upgrade. You see this boat doesn't have it. We can also 
upgrade that down the road, change it. We're proud to say we have express customers come to us from all over the nation. And we try to have a very good service reputation and, and knowledge of the product. And, and, hire, and we carry a very high Yamaha customer service index score. It's one of the highest in the nation. We're very proud of that. And plus, we're very large volume as well, which is unusual today, but we're, we're proud of it. In the back compartment is where you see the fuel tank, 18 gallon, batteries, charger. This one's not rigged yet, so it's a little sloppy, but we're when we're done with it, it looks very nice and neat. We're very particular with rigging our expresses. And all of our boats are at FNS. I appreciate you watching. Again, I'm Andy at FNS. And uh, feel free to shoot me a line. You'll see our contact information here at the bottom of the screen. And please let me know if I can answer any questions or be of any assistance. Whether boats in stock, special order, or even boats that are already on order. Thanks for watching.